Hello everyone. In this presentation, we're going to look at saving module and looking at the code. The last two presentations, we looked at a hang and a crash. Here also, we're going to look at the exact same hang term which we looked at the last presentation, but from a different perspective. So this is the agenda of the presentation. We're going to look at the exact same hang dump as I mentioned before. We're going to analyze it, not the full analysis, just uh, typing a couple of commands. Then we're going to save the binary using bank save module. Then we're going to look at the code from ILSpy and figure out the problem. Again, straight away jumping into the demo. So this is the exact same dump we looked before in the hang analysis. So the dump is exactly the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag and drop as usual to win debug. Typing tilde star k as usual. This is .NET. So we're going to load the .NET extension dot load by SOS core CLR. Now we did tilde star e bang CLR stack. So here we are seeing three threads. We have seen all these things in the previous presentation and we did a formal analysis. In this case, we're going to stop it here. So uh, we assume that after seeing this particular monitor, we are suspecting some lock acquisition, but we are not capable or suppose we don't know how to do further analysis like we did last time. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the command bang save module so save module i take uh, two arguments one is the start address of the binary and the location where the binary needs to be saved now to get the start address you need to do the command lm so which is the binary we are interested in this is the binary we are interested in if you want you can dump out other binaries as well but in this case we're going to do this one binary once you have the start address so this is the start address bang save module then the start address and where do i want to save i'm just going to save it in the exact same location of the dump you can do the pipe command if you want to get it so i'm going to name it testbin1.dll so it has successfully saved the binary now from the binary we're going to see the code so for that, um, I have installed a tool called ILSpy. So there are so many tools like this available. Reflector is one of them. Reflector was one of the first one which came up. So these are a class of tool called decompilers. So I have uh, started the ILSpy and I'm going to open the file which we have just created. This is the testbin1.dll. In this one, I'm going to look is this particular method which I am suspecting or this method simple dot method B so let's see if this binary has uh, such things so it has a class simple and it has method A and method B and it has a main as well so if you remember this is the exact same code which we saw in Visual Studio and in method a, we can see that lock A is obtained and then lock B is obtained and in method B it's a reverse so we are able to see the exact same code which we have seen in Visual Studio last time and of course we can look at the library functions if you want uh, for example thread.sleep so this is the implementation of thread.sleep um, so it will it will recursively um, load the dependency here if you, if you look at so this is expanded. Now you might be thinking why this is required altogether. I wrote my application, I have the code. So to explain the requirement of this, uh, let me take you through the Source Lens consulting page uh, real quick. So this is the Source Lens consulting page, which we offer consultancy. This service is all about debugging random problems in a random code written by random people. They might have left the company, 
they could be from different companies we don't know they are their system is hanged the program is hanged bsod running slow anything and another thing is that we get paid only if we solve the problem in this kind of scenarios you cannot assume that you have source code access you are forced to work without source code and in most cases people who has written the code won't be having any idea what's happening that's when they get people like me so the bottom line is having the source code access is a luxury when it comes to production debugging even if you have access to code it's difficult to match version unless you have very clean process in the in the organization and in some organization they have automation as well for example if you're debugging a particular dump you will get the exact same code version as well microsoft is the only company which i have worked which has this kind of automation so this is just tip of the iceberg of the problem more than often when you debug a problem your debugging goes into third-party code so you don't have source code access in the native world we resort to assembly as you might have seen in some of my other presentation series another tool we use for native decompiling is ida pro luckily for dotnet and java this process is a very painless process like we have seen right now just save the module look at some tool like il spy or reflector so we have seen this commands load by sos core clr and we have seen uh, the command save module which is the highlight of this presentation and uh, we have seen il spy tool as well so that brings us to the summary we have seen a dump is loaded into the win debug a dotnet dump and we have used save module to save the binary to the file and we have used il spy to look at the code of the binary and we have seen a couple of points why we need to do this the code we looked at is the exact code which is at runtime it is not a code from visual studio and this code we have seen has nothing to do with visual studio whatsoever it is all from runtime so that is the other advantage we have seen that's about the presentation now reviews comments and suggestions i would like to take from one single location so if you don't mind i would like to follow this particular pattern for the reviews and comments unfortunately it is not really useful to me if you update the youtube comments as youtube is just one way we publish content now if you think you need more personal attention or have some in-depth doubt or need some more training please feel free to follow these links also please refer someone if you think they can benefit from similar trainings all services are available online as well as direct classroom training so that's it thank you for watching see you next time